Okay, by now, hopefully you've seen two tips. One, how to unsubscribe to any spam things um, so that it doesn't clog up your email. And two, how to set your Google Classroom notifications, whether you want to get emails about that or not, so it also doesn't clog up your Gmail inbox. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get your inbox to start fresh. This is a pretty clean inbox. It only has 63 unread emails. However, I've seen many students and even teachers that have inbox of like 2,000, 3,000 unread emails. That can cause worry, anxiety, and overall unorganization. Um, and we want to help set you up for success for next year for all this tech organization. So what I'm going to show you right now is what we're going to do is mark all the emails that you've received this year as read, and we're gonna archive them. Now, it's important to know a little bit of vocabulary. Archiving does not mean deleting. Trashing something like spam will delete it. You'll never find it again. It will be gone out of your inbox. Um, archiving something just means that it is removed from your inbox, but it's not deleted and gone forever. So oftentimes I like to archive things instead of trash them because in a month or two, I want to go back and say, oh, what did uh, Mr. Micah tell me or Mr. Cook tell me about such and such? I want to go back and find that, even though I may not have him now. So we're going to mark everything as read so that you have zero unread messages in your inbox. And we're going to then change and move them over to our, archive, our archived emails. Okay. Before we do this, you need to make sure that you don't have any emails that you have not read yet. So if the teacher wants to pause the video and give you guys 10, 15 minutes to go through emails and making sure that you don't have anything really important that you haven't checked, you can do that. Otherwise, let's get started. All right. You want to make sure that your inbox type is by default set up like this. Um, so I'm going to go to settings just to make sure that it's set up the right way. And I want to say inbox type default. A lot of times we do un or important first, unread first is my favorite, and we're going to talk about that later. Starred first or priority. To do this, you need to be in the default one. So sw switch over to default if you're not there already. All right, and then let's get out of settings. I don't even need my face here. And we're going to go and we're going to click here and say unread. You're selecting all your unread emails, or you could select all your emails and do this so you have nothing in your inbox because it's the end of the year i'm going to select all emails okay now here you have a warning all 50 conversations which we can only see 50 emails per page are selected but there are 63 total in the inbox you want to select all those so by clicking on that your number is going to be like but there are actually 2500 emails <laughs> in your inbox because remember this is just a test dummy one we don't have that so you'll get this warning that's like, oh, you have 16,000. Now, the bigger that number is, the longer this takes to do. And we want to be patient when it's happening. So I'm going to select all these inboxes. Sorry, all those emails. And then I'm going to do two things. One, make sure you mark them as red, because that's going to make that number go back to zero that you see in that corner. So mark them as red. And then I'm going to confirm this. It's still so low, oh, sorry. And then we're gonna go and do it one more time, all. And now instead of trashing them, I'm going to archive them. That means that they're gonna be out of my inbox, but I can go back and find them if I want to. And now I say archive. Oh, let me do that one more time, all. I didn't select all in there, archive. Now I have no mail. Okay, so that's what that does. Now, some people like to go through and find all the emails and then move them into folders, labels, or categories. You can certainly take the time to do that. I do think that takes a long time. And with Gmail's search, I could still find, let's say, assignment that I know that Ann Madison gave me. And I can go back and I can easily find something in my inbox that I might need. Okay, but my inbox is completely clean. So let's take some time to do that. Remember, the really important step is when you select all, that you mark it as read first so that it doesn't still keep that number and you can't find it, but that you archive it. Um, but before you do it, that you select every, 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 everything in your inbox. And then be patient 
The more emails there are, the longer that may take. 